All right, guys, so I can already tell these are gonna be my favorite videos to do moving forward. Unboxing videos. I've got three packages here. These are all cameras that I purchased off eBay. One is a lot. The big one, of course, is a lot of cameras, meaning more than one, a lot of cameras, literally, and that's what it's called. And then also I've got single cameras. I got two single cameras. All of these are purchased untested because that's where you make the most money. People are putting these cameras up. I'm taking a risk buying them this way and then reselling them. Let's unbox them, let's check it out. I like to be gentle with the boxes. One thing you'll realize is that as you get boxes from eBay, they're great to sell and ship back out the same box. I try to keep the box good. No uh, Casey Neistat beating the crap out of the boxes going on here. So now I have a nice box here to ship. And this one is an Olympus Stylus. Oh no, I take that back. This one is an Infinity AF1. So Olympus AF1, as you can see. Okay, this is a great little camera. I have not sold one yet. I have one listed. I have another one in the wings. You know, I'm never posting the same camera twice, right? I'm basically competing against myself, which would be silly. So this is my third one of these. The key thing to look at with this camera is this is the American version from research I understand. Uh, you also see another one that says AF1 on the front. Um, that's, I guess, a different, maybe European version. Uh, but this is considered a Canon or Olympus AF1. These are, I have the one currently posted at like $80 or so with shipping included. So we'll see if this guy works, but that's a pretty good purchase. Another great thing is it comes with some of the um, brochures and stuff. Cool, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. That's camera number one, box number one. All right, camera number two. Probably won't reuse this box. Olympus St uh, Infinity Stylus Zoom. I'm 99% sure I've sold one of these before. Um, this one, again, sells for $80. That camera there that I bought, this one is mm, untested. I bought it by itself. Usually my, my market, my, my aim, is if a camera is going to call, uh, sell for about $80 or so, um, I'm willing to spend about $25 on an untested camera. Odds are so far that untested doesn't necessarily mean broken, right? Like I said before, people just don't know how to use them. They don't have the right batteries for them because they take some funky batteries. They're not willing to take the time to see if they work. You know, there's a good chance this one's going to work, of course. And then same thing here. This one I think was about a $20 purchase as well, somewhere around there. But ultimately, these are awesome. Oh, look at this one. It's got a battery in it. And that's a good sign so far. It actually turned on. It's zooming. That's another good sign. And since we're on, why don't we see if it's going to work? Booyah. Untested my rear end. This thing works. So I just made some money and you witnessed it. So I'll go through and like before, clean it up, take, make sure it's, you know, what kind of condition it is and really make sure it's working. Test the timer, timer test the the flash already worked, so we're good. The zoom worked. I mean, this is awesome. Bing. That's a good sign. Uh, this one I'm not too sure about. Um, I know one of the cameras in here is a camera that I've had before. I think I've had two or three of these cameras before. Oh, no. Please don't ship in these with peanuts. That's awful. Not only is it bad for the environment, but it's bad for my living situation here because now it just gets everywhere right great all right let me see if i can keep this not <laughs> not a mess fishing for cameras oh no came with some bags so that's cool actually i wanted to talk about something i'm going to do that at the end of this video bags pay attention to bags too when you're shit selling and buying camera gear um, a lot of times the bag itself is worth money if you sell it by itself. So um, a lot of times I'll part out things like that. If I notice that the bag is selling for $30, I might as well just sell the bag by itself. I'm not going to sell this silly 80s looking bag. Of course, that's probably going to go in the garbage. Um, but another trick I like to do is I may not throw this one out because it's in good condition. It's clean. 
but I will post a camera with a bag. My idea, my thought process is it shows someone's taking care of the camera. Like it's been not sitting, you know, getting banged around in someone's closet. It was actually, whether it was or not, it was, it's actually, you know, it's in a bag, it comes in a bag. So that's a little kind of a non-verbal type of a, hopefully communication that I'm giving people. Another camera, this one's not in the bag. Well, I don't even know how many are supposed to be here. Seriously, don't ship in peanuts. I'm guessing that's it. And I think there's might be two cameras in one bag. That would be my guess. I definitely believe there was more than four cameras in this lot. Let me double check. Okay, no, there was just four cameras. I'm looking at the numbers now. I bought this lot, four camera lot for 15 and 13, so $28. So again, that's why it's awesome to get a lot rather than one camera because oftentimes you're gonna spend 15, 20, 30 dollars for one camera when you could easily spend 30 dollars on four different cameras, which just increases your profit margins. This first guy, let's open this up. What do we got here? Canon Action Touch. This is a cool little camera. Some of the research I did, because again, when I'm, uh, when I, if I can see the pictures of the photos of what I'm buying, I'm gonna look at, you know, one camera's gonna catch my eye. I'm like, oh man, I want that camera. Let's see what the other ones are worth. So I look at that. This Action Touch, there's this whole Nikon, I'm sorry, Canon, this is a Nikon. This whole Nikon line of touch cameras, there's one touch, that's kind of the high end, the, the most, uh, from what I've seen so far, the one that um, uh, sells for the most, like over $100. Um, doing a little bit of research on this, I found out this Action Touch does sell pretty high as well, so that was another reason why I wanted to go after this one, uh, this camera lot. Um, there's other touches, tele-touch, that one's not so good, et cetera, et cetera. So you'll come across these. I'm going to come across these more. We'll talk more as they come. But this one, we'll see how it turns out. This is um, an action touch. From my understanding, it's waterproof or water resistant. It's kind of like an action camera before GoPros, if you will. It obviously doesn't belong in this bag because it doesn't come out. This is a Fujifilm Discovery. It's got the sticky. Sometimes the cameras will get this, the rubber part, rubberized, will get so broken down that it becomes tacky. So that's not too good. Uh, I'm not, I didn't buy this camera a lot because of this. It was more the action camera and this other camera that's gonna come out here in a second. We'll see, I don't even know, I didn't check the value price on this. I don't even know what I could sell it for. Um, but like I've said before, sometimes I can be surprised. A uh, camera you don't think is worth anything is actually worth more than you think. If a camera is not worth anything, and whether it works or not, if I just look at look it up, let's say I look up this Fuji camera, determine that it's only worth five dollars, fifteen dollars, and it's not selling very well. What I'll do is I won't even test it, and then I'll sell it as untested in a lot, just like people sell for me that I buy from them. Um, however, my lot is usually <laughs> junk cameras, and I'm happy if I can sell that untested lot for thirty bucks, right? So I mean, it's still profit. I've usually by that time already made most of my money back. Um, just through, or more than my money back, with just through these other cameras that I have already sold. So here's the other one. This is the one touch I mentioned. This is the camera I was going after. So for 30 bucks, pretty happy. You know, if really I break it down, 15 and 15, right? Action camera, $15 I spent on that, $15 on this one. Uh, pretty optimistic that at least one of these work for $100. If not, both. If both work, then I'm, you know, sitting really pretty here. So, um, there you go, Nikon One Touch. These are a little finicky. I've had, again, one or two of these. The, the, the battery door seems to be an issue. They're broken a lot. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how this one works out. And then lastly, another camera I don't think that I'm excited about. We'll see, yeah, no, no. Yeah, like these Kodak. Anything Kodak nowadays is not really worth much from what I've come across. Even some of the vintage stuff, and this one seems broken because the flash doesn't go down. But again, this is uh, untested. I'll Probably not, I mean, I'll look it up, but probably not gonna sell this one um, by itself. It's gonna go in my untested camera lot. And there you have it. So I also promised one more thing. I wanna talk about bags. This guy here looks kinda crappy, old, considered probably vintage. Be careful, vintage is valuable nowadays, right? So this is an old Vanguard. I saw the name plate on here, it says Vanguard. This is a crappy, I got um, a Nikon out of this an old DS, uh, SLR camera. Um, the bag is pretty, not very attractive, right? And I thought, well, this is 
junk. And I looked at it, I was like, wait a minute, Vanguard, that's a camera thing. So I looked it up and I actually searched Vanguard leather, you know, bags. And I saw some of these old cam uh, camera bags selling for some pretty good money. Um, so do not overlook the bags. Even if they look a little worn, look a little dusty, look a little, you know, old, no one's going to want them. You'd be surprised uh, that what can sell and or what's, you know, uh, has value. So just a little tip there as well. So there you have it. That's my exciting camera reveal unboxing. This is, again, like I said, going to be my favorite part. Um, I think my second favorite part, I don't even know if I'm going to do videos of this. Tell me if in the comments below if you want me to do this, but the testing of the cameras, I did it before and it's exciting for me. I love, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? Obviously with this Olympus, we're super stoked. You guys witnessed a true joy moment for me uh, when it actually works. Um, so I'm not going to necessarily test them on camera unless you guys leave me a comment below, like this video, tell me if you want to see me testing these cameras in the future. It's going to be a lot of work, what I'm doing here, trying to make the videos along with actually getting work done, trying to sell these things, but I'm willing to do it if you guys are interested. So leave a comment, let me know if you want me to test these cameras on camera so you guys can see them work if they're not working or, or if they are working. Otherwise, subscribe to this channel and um, I'll make more videos around selling cameras and, and cameras in general. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you later. Bye.